How many hours do you use your cell phone and laptop every day? Three hours? Mm, six hours? Mm, stop guessing. Eight hours? Ten? Twelve? And more? Mm, I said stop guessing! What do you spend most time on? Enough is enough. Social media? Videos? Movies? Gaming? Go! See, the longer you hang out online, more emotional and attentional extreme you get. I said go! Okay, okay. Ah, uh, don't you wonder why? Emotional extreme. See these two thumbnails just with your guts. Which do you prefer to click? This one or that one? Bingo! For the most people, the happy one. Next group. Which one do you prefer to click? Bingo! For the most people, the happy one. Don't blame yourself even if you find out those are actually click base without anything valuable because we are humans who are more likely to trigger by high emotions than robots according to scientific research of mit team from 2006 to 2017 about 166,000 rumors were spread by 3 million people. On Twitter, rumors and fake news spread faster and deeper than truths. Why? The degree of novelty and the emotional reactions of recipients may be responsible for the differences observed. Such emotional manipulation phenomena from a communication perspective widely happen in the business world, including attention economy in our prolonged online life. Happiness, sadness, disgust, fear, surprise, and anger. Psychologist Paul Ekman once identified six basic emotions that he suggested were universally experienced in all human cultures, plus pride, shame, embarrassment, and excitement. Those foundational emotions are the case of attention economy business, whatever in cinema, play era, TV era, movie era, and online streaming era. All plays in place groups. TV shows, movies, videos, even news and gaming are not only asking your attentions, but taking your time and manipulating your emotions behind. In the face of a fierce competition, blind applause and anthetic fatigue can't survive at all. Slow rhythms can't earn audience patience anymore. Normal beautiful faces have become more mediocre. So, here it comes to hyper emotional stimulations. Once your brain accepts hyper emotional stimulations, they will label downgrade ones boring and they will feel hunger for higher and higher hyper emotions. All outstanding works must stimulate your emotion to the extreme degree comedy, romance, tragedy. Short videos. Over time, the result has been when you look back on those classic and popular clips and movies in the past, you always feel their rhythms relatively slower and you almost lose your patience on them. So, say the negative consequences of emotional extreme is a vicious loop for your online life. Another goal is dream in online life is attentional extreme. More specifically, content-based filtering and collaborative filtering in recommendation algorithm. Every time you sign up a new account and select your favorite columns and preferences in apps, content-based flattering works behind. After all flattering preferences are used up, another algorithm will recognize you what people watch most in your same language or at the same location or with the same other contents. Here, collaborative flattering comes up. Collaborative flattering is based on the assumption that people who agree in the past will agree in the future, and that they will lack similar kinds of atoms as they lacked in the past. 
The system generates recommendations using only information about rating profiles for different users or atoms by locating peer users or atoms with the rating history similar to the current users or atoms. They generate recommendations using this neighborhood. So, on social media, on one hand, due to the recommendation algorithms, users who hold polarized opinions are more likely to form their communities and unite together. On the other hand, highly viewed content will be recommended more frequently by the algorithm. As a result, you will be more likely to pay your attention on something extremely popular. Finally, the negative consequences of attentional extreme will be another vicious loop in your online life. Are you extremely for now? Mm. Are you becoming extremely because of your online life? Huh! Are you... Okay, okay. I will go and turn off.